Hi everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. It is time for another Lakers update. So if you've been keeping up with the Lakers lately, you can see that they have some games where they do really great and others, like the game they just had, game 10, that they did not do so well. So far they have four wins, six losses. Their next game is Wednesday night and they are going to be playing the Minnesota Timberwolves. The Timberwolves are four and six as well, so hopefully it'll be a great matchup. The game will be Wednesday, November 7th at 7.30 p.m. I'm hoping it'll be a good one. I'm hoping that the Lakers will do good because the game that they just played was awful. They played the Raptors and immediately the Raptors were up by 30 points. Unfortunately, it was such a large deficit that the Lakers were never able to come back. Try as they might, they would get a little bit closer. They'd get around 20 points down, but then the Raptors would come right back. The Raptors played so well, and the Lakers just struggled to recover from the very, very beginning of the game. They played really hard. Actually, LeBron even made a comment after the game he was interviewed, and he indicated that, you know, there's still a team that's trying to learn to play together. There was just nothing that the Lakers did, could do to come back from that large deficit, try as they might. LeBron, of course, is a little bit frustrated. Um, the team has struggled, but they've also had some games where they've done an amazing job and played together as a team. Team, but LeBron has indicated that he is just going to continue working hard with these players. They just need to learn to work together as a team and he knows that they are going to be amazing. He's absolutely not giving up on them at all. He just knows that they're all trying so hard. They're making silly mistakes. They're throwing the ball away. They have so many turnovers that it's just very difficult for them to win a game with the number of turnovers that they've had. They've also had some amazing passes in the most recent game from McGee to LeBron to Alonzo Ball and they scored and it was beautiful it was smooth there are times that they are learning to come together and play as a team two players I'd like to talk about first is JaVale McGee he is a wonderful defender he has become an amazing asset to this team it actually has been mentioned that he may become the best defensive player in the league this year which is great for us because that's what we need he has also had the ability to score he gets under the basket if a bask someone shoots a basket and they don't make it he's taken that opportunity to then grab the ball put it in score the points for the Lakers which is awesome the other player that has become so impressive that I wanted to talk about is Rajon Rondo. As I indicated in my last video, he unfortunately was one of the players that got into a scuffle and he was suspended for three games. That was very difficult on the Lakers because they were down two players because Ingram had been suspended for four games. So there were three games that we were down both players. Rajon Rondo though has come back from his suspension and he has proven that he is here to play and he is here to win. He has become an amazing asset and he has stepped in when the team has been down and he has brought them back to a victory. He also makes it so clear when he's out there that he wants to be a leader on this team as well. He goes out, he encourages the players, he gives them pep talks. He's really, really showing that he wants to be a leader on this team and help them win and be successful which is awesome. Luke Walton is also learning that his second string is potentially better than his first string, or hopefully that's something he's learning because I'm learning that fairly quickly. There are times that the first string is out on the floor and they are failing miserably, but as soon as he brings the second string out on the floor, they start making baskets and they pull ahead sometimes to a victory. So. Hopefully, Luke Walton is noticing that as well because there have been times that the second string has been out there doing amazing and then he pulls them, first string comes back out, and they barely win the game because the players just don't have it together. Another player that I've been noticing a lot lately as well is Lance Stevenson. He's really been pulling it together. There have been times that they've put him out on the floor. He has made amazing passes and amazing baskets, including from the three-point line. So he has made three-point shots that have pulled them ahead to a win, and he has come in when they have really been struggling and been a major component to this team. I'm looking forward to seeing him progress as well. Of course, LeBron James is an amazing player. 
he's still learning to play with these young players that are out on the court. Some of the players that LeBron, who is 33 years old, is playing with are 21 and 23 years old. These are really, really young men. They still have a lot to learn and hopefully they're looking to LeBron for some influence, for some guidance, and hopefully that will help them learn to play well together. LeBron is used to playing with a team that knows him backwards and forwards. They know to watch when he has the ball for an amazing pass because that's what he does. He can pass the ball between players you would, like you would never believe. But some of these young players aren't used to that. I think if they keep playing together, keep trying, eventually they're going to start learning LeBron forward and backward as well. They're going to watch for him to pass and his amazing passes will be successful. They'll shoot, score, and become a winning team more often. If you're a Laker fan and you like keeping up with the Lakers, make sure you download their app. If you just type in Lakers in the Apple Play Store or the Google Play Store, it'll come right up. You can see their schedule, you can see their stats, you can see everything you need to know about all of the players, the most recent news and information. It is an awesome way to follow the Lakers. One of the other things that's amazing is you can click to get an alert after every quarter of a game to let you know where they're at. So if you're out and you're not able to watch the game, at least you can keep up and have an idea of what's going on with them. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you enjoyed my updates and information. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe.